Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today, we have got another Naruto character review for you. And today's character is Kurama, the Nine-Tailed Fox. Now, uh, if you haven't seen Naruto Shippuden uh, and aren't caught up on that, you might want to do that first because there are going to be some spoilers. So, be aware of that. Alright, with that said, let's get into it. So, Kurama, the Nine-Tailed Fox. Well, um... He's an interesting character. Um, you don't actually learn his name uh, as Kurama for a very long time, um, but that is his name. Um, so yeah, uh, you first see him, well, at the very, very start of the show uh, when you see him attacking the Leap Village and then being sealed inside of Naruto um, by the fourth Hokage. And... You know, in the first episode, you see um, Naruto had a pretty rough life because of Kurama being sealed inside of him. Um, but we're talking more about uh, Kurama himself than we are about Naruto. So the first time uh, we... So let's go back to, well, the beginning. Uh, originally, he was part of the Ten Tails. And he was, well... Um, separated by the Sage of the Six Paths. Um, and the Sage, he, well, created, he created the Nine-Tailed Beast from the Ten Tails. And uh, uh, Kurama was one of them. Now, um, Kurama, uh, you know, was just a, just a little baby fox back then. He, um, you know, as were all the Jinchuriki, uh, the, uh, not Jinchuriki, all, as were all the Tailed Beasts. Um, he didn't exactly have a great go of it. Um, people feared him for his uh, power, and he ended up resenting people because of that. Um, the first time uh, you really start to see real prominence with him would be um, when the founding of the nations all began. You see, you know, uh, the the uh, Gold and Silver Brothers trying to capture him and end up uh, being swallowed by him and eating his chakra. Uh, and you then see Madara taking control of him and trying to use him as a weapon against um, uh, oh, uh, the leader of the Senju clan, um, Hashirama Senju. There we go. Took me a second to remember that. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we see uh, um, him being used as a weapon there. Uh, after that, um, you know, Hashirama, of course, seals him inside of his own wife. Um, uh, lady, what is it? Uh, what is it? I think it's Mina uh, Uzumaki, I believe. Uh, so he uh, he seals her and uh, he seals Kurama inside of her, and she kind of just is kind of playing babysitter with him. She um, she isn't exactly mean to him, but she doesn't seem to really respect him either. So he kind of resents that, um, and but she holds him in check for uh, quite some time um, up until. Uh, much, much later when uh, uh, she starts to get old and die because, you know, as a member of the Uzumaki clan, she lives much longer than most. Um, but she, eventually uh, she did get old and, um, well, uh, the, Nine Tails was the, uh, the Nine Tails, Kurama, was sailed inside of uh, a new host uh, to, become, um, to form a new Jinshuriki. And that, was, and that new person was, well... Um, Naruto's mom. Uh, it was uh, Kushina Uzumaki. So she uh, became the new host of the Nine Tails, and uh, she wasn't uh, a whole lot different than uh, uh, Lady Mina. Uh, she, uh, she she treated uh, the Nar uh, Kurama with the same level of like, you know, not really respect. Just sort of like, hey, just stay in there, like. Um, and she just kind of used her power to restrain him um, until the day she gave birth, um, at which point uh, the Nine Tails was let out and Kurama was once again controlled by the Sharingan, this time by, uh, well, he claimed to be Madara, but he was at, was actually Obito. Uh, and Obito uh, controlled uh, the Nine Tails and had him run amok after having freed the Nine Tails from Kushina, uh, which eventually did kill her, although she survived for some time after. Um, by some time, I mean like a few hours. Um, but 
Yeah, um, of course, uh, Minato uh, ended up uh, fighting against uh, uh, the Nine Tails and managing to, as well as against uh, Obito and managing to stop uh, free uh, the Nine Tails from Obito and then uh, went to fight the Nine Tails himself, who, you know, after being forced to fight, attack the Leaf, he just decided to attack it on his own because he didn't like the Leaf to begin with. So. It wasn't uh, it wasn't that uh, big of a stretch for him to switch over and start fighting it on his own because he, he had a lot of resentment um, what with during the entire uh, history of the leaf being bound inside of Jinchuriki. Um, so yeah, uh, which uh, Minato managed to uh, seal half of the nine tails uh, inside of himself using the Reaper Death Seal. Um, I believe it was the yin, his Yin Chakra while using the a trigram seal in order to seal the rest inside of the newborn baby Naruto, uh, who uh, his birth actually kind of caused this whole mess. Um, I mean, it wasn't his fault or anything. Like, he was just born. But, yeah. Um, uh, anyways, uh, yeah. So he ended up getting sealed inside Naruto. Uh, and he wasn't exactly happy about that. He was pretty upset about that one, in all honesty. Uh, and he uh, decided to bide his time and just sort of let the chakra seep out slowly until he could free himself from Naruto, um, which uh, you first see that happen on well, the first episode of Naruto. Uh, well, a little bit. You don't see it too much, but you do see uh, him get angry and you do see a little bit of the Ninetales chakra seep out, but not much. It was just... Just a hint. Um, then uh, later, when Naruto fights against uh, Haku, uh, you see uh, the Nine Tails chakra slip out uh, a fair amount more, and he's able to release a decent amount of power, um, you know, because of the Nine Tails power, and stop Haku. Something he was not able to do on his own because Haku was just so much more skilled. Um, but yes, uh, after that. Uh, uh, it doesn't last for long. Naruto calms down pretty quick, but that was definitely a first start. Uh, you see it happen again more uh, when Naruto goes into the tuning exams. Uh, more chakra slips out uh, in Naruto's battle against the Orochimaru. Uh, you'll see it happen again uh, even more. Um, uh, Orochimaru actually then puts an extra seal on the Nine Tails, which just sends Naruto's chakra like completely out of control. Um, uh, but he's, he's pretty, you don't see him slip out for a while, uh, when he's got Orochimaru's, uh, seal on top of that. Um, but I think it's a five prong seal, but anyways, uh, after that, uh, Chiraya eventually removes the five prong seal, um, allowing Naruto to actually control his chakra again, uh, which Naruto had been doing quite a bit of that before, which was pretty dang impressive. Um, but anyways, uh, Jiraiya during his training actually teaches Naruto to harness the power of the Nine Tails Chakra, um, and he ends up summoning Gamabunta, uh, using the Nine Tails Chakra. You then see him in his fight against Neji call upon the Nine Tails Chakra in order to take Neji down, um, and it just keeps, you know, loosening that seal bit by bit by bit, um. You see it more in his fight against Gara immediately after that, uh, where his uh, he uses the chakra in order to stop Gara and save uh, Sakura, um, which that's certainly an interesting one because uh, Gara was using the power of the one tail Shikaku, whereas Naruto's of course was using the nine tail uh, power um, Kurama. So quite interesting to see uh, two uh, of the tailed beasts duking it out there. Um, then uh, you later uh, see it uh, burst even more in his fight against Sasuke, uh, where he ends up actually, you know, fighting, uh, uh, using the child beast chakra quite a bit in order to gain quite a bit more power. Um, then, uh, and, you know, again, weakening the seal even more. Uh, then you'll, uh, Naruto goes off to train with Jiraiya, uh, where he learns to harness the power more and more. Uh, Jiraiya is interestingly pushing him towards that which is helping Kurama escape, 
um, by, you know, getting Naruto to rely on the power of the Nine Tails more. Uh, at one point, um, Naruto uh, gains uh, three, uh, you know, uh, I think it's three tails or four tails. I think it's four tails, yeah. And Kuruma takes over and um, ends up attacking Jiraiya. Um, and Jiraiya is able to stop it and seal the Nine Tails back inside, but only after taking uh, severe damage to himself in the process. Um, you see it happen again um, when uh, Naruto runs into Orochimaru, who's been holding Sasuke. Uh, Naruto goes crazy, and the Nine Tails power uh, seeps out to the point where the Nine Tails, uh, uh, you know, Karama's actually fighting against Orochimaru. Um, and uh, Sakura tries, uh, at, at one point, Sakura like tries to intervene and Kuruma actually attacks Sakura. Um, it's shortly after that that Yamato is able to seal Kuruma back inside of Naruto, but um, you know the damage was kind of done. And Yamato does at that point decide to tell Naruto, "Hey, don't be relying on the Nine Tails power. Use your own power. Um, when you use the Nine Tails power, it's just going to cause problems." So Naruto tries to hold it back at that point, which does uh, make it so that the seal weakens less and less. Um, eventually, you see, um, well, you, you see uh, Pain attack the Leaf Village. And after, uh, because Naruto's trying not to use, uh, you know, Kuroma's power, he gets very good at um, not using it up until, you know, Pain attacks the Leaf Village, which he was doing okay not using it for a while. Uh, up until Hinata came to uh, rescue him, and uh, and she ended up getting the crap kicked out of her. Um, and after she had confessed to him, and then beaten to oblivion by pain, while Naruto was pinned down, forced to watch, uh, his rage let loose, and the full power of the Nine Tails was released. Kuruma was able to take over Naruto. Um, it was, he'd almost fully, uh, regained his power. Um, Naruto was just about, to, uh, you know, just completely undo the seal and let, uh, Karama take, uh, loose, uh, take full reign of Naruto forever when, well, Minato stepped in and sealed Karama back up and had a brief chat with Naruto. And Kuroma was not happy about that. You know, all those years of biding his time, his moment had finally come, and he just got sealed back up. So he was not thrilled about that, that he had to start all over at square one. And now Naruto was much stronger. Um, and it wasn't too much after that when Naruto came to uh, um, uh, Kurama to uh, try and steal his power back. Uh, but Kurama was he was tough. Uh, and he was not going to let that uh, let Naruto do that easily. But Naruto had um, B and A tails for backup. So using the A tails to try and help Naruto control the nine tails uh, certainly helped. But nine tails is strong. Kuruma is definitely the strongest of the tail beasts. And uh, he knows he is. Uh, the other tail beasts hate him for thinking that. But there's some truth to it. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, but uh, Kushina stepped in because um, just like Minato, uh, their chakra had been sealed in Naruto when the, the Nine Tails was. Um, so she stepped in and uh, helped Naruto gain control over uh, Kuruma's power and uh, you know gain a certain amount of uh, gain a certain amount of power over it. Um, it wasn't long after that that uh, Naruto decided that he was going to try and. Uh, stop uh, uh is going to actually try and like come after the uh the hate inside of uh karama which is something karama balked at but at the same time was like really like you could you could see that there was more to it than that like he was actually kind of hoping it would happen um you see this more in uh, uh in the war when Naruto takes various actions like fighting against uh, Madara and uh, Nine Tails lending him his power just because he just really hates uh, Madara that much. Um, you see it again when uh, Naruto uh, runs into uh, 
the four tails, uh, Son Goku, uh, and uh, he ends up, uh, well, stopping Son Goku from, uh, you know, letting loose his, uh, he ends up saving Son Goku, and uh, both Son Goku and Karama were like, this guy's serious, like, um, Karama started to really gain some respect for Naruto at this point, and especially when he sees that Naruto is uh, willing to help save the Jinchuriki, because he actually sees them as sentient creature like he's like yeah you're you're people just like us like he he recognizes that sentience in the um the tailed beasts and you know treats them like friends uh which is something they are very not used to and uh Kurama gains a good amount of respect for Naruto at that point um yeah uh they end up starting to work side by side they become friends and yeah, and of course, this is just uh, half of the Nine Tails. Um, at later, at a later point, the uh, Nine Tails does actually get removed from Naruto, and the other half of uh, uh, the chakra does end up getting sealed inside of him um, because um, some things went down that caused uh, Minato to come back uh, as a reanimation with the nine t with the other half of Nine Tails chakra inside of him, and uh, they end up uh, putting that half inside Naruto in order to keep him alive after nine tails left him. Um, and then later the other half returns to him, um, because he just respects Naruto that much that he comes back to Naruto and Naruto gains control over the full power of the nine tails. Um, you see just how strong nine tails is many, many times, you know, being able to, with just four tails, hold off the power. Uh, so less than half his power, less than half of half his power able to you know hold his own against the Rochimaru that's actually pretty impressive in all honesty um and you know you see him later like taking on multiple tailed beasts at once um with only half of his power it's absolutely insane how strong Kurama is um yeah I would say his attitude of you know thinking he's the strongest is somewhat warranted. Um, yeah. Uh, but that's mostly all I have to say about Kurama. He's certainly an interesting one. Um, not the typical character I uh, review, but probably review all the tailed beasts at some point, or at least the ones that are more relevant than others. Um, like uh, one tail, Shikaku and uh, eight tails. Forget his name. I'll have to remember for that video. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of uh, the nine-tailed fox Kuruma down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel for more Naruto character reviews. I also do a ton of D&D 3.5 stuff. So if you like D&D 3.5, definitely subscribe and check that out. Uh, maybe ring that notification bells in order to make sure you never miss a video. But anyways, as always, I'm Mitch. And I'll be seeing you.